Now, let's return to our PDF file, and I'm again going to go back to the first page. We can select text in a document, but what about editing text within a document? In some cases, it might be useful to be able to repurpose the document by simply changing something that's written here to say something different. In fact, what I tend to do is I create a base document that I use on occasions when I need to very quickly edit it. Instead of going back into my graphics application, in this case this was created in Adobe's InDesign, I can actually start from the PDF file and move forward that way. However, there are some issues with that and I want to show you what they can be. And actually to do that, I've created a base document and let's take a look at it. And here we go. It's sort of a base presentation document, and what I might want to do is change the words proposal for times to treasure to proposal for, I don't know, customer X. Adobe Acrobat has a touch-up text tool built into it. When I select a line of text, I can edit that line of text as if I were using a word processor. It's important to remember something important, though, and here are the issues that I mentioned. First off, I can only work on a single line of text at a time. You notice that when I click it doesn't allow me to rewrite the paragraph and have the text wrap like it would in a word processor. So it's good for sort of real, real minor touch-ups or, as I've done with this document, if you plan ahead and set it up so that you can, you can use it to change the name. So this will become a proposal for Customer X. Another thing that I can do with these text objects is treat them like graphics with the Touch up object tool, I can click and move it around the page some, which can be handy if I need to touch something up or move the text around on the page a little bit. And again, if I move the text and I'm not happy with it, I can always come back to edit, undo move, undo move, until I put the text back where it belongs. So the touch up text tool is something that has a lot of power, but I need to throw out the caveat. If you create a document and you embed fonts into the document, and you subset those fonts in the document, you might not be able to do what I just did. Because, for example, if in the subset of text there was no letter X, then you can't type a letter X. It won't be built in there. If Acrobat can find a copy of that font on your system, then it will allow you to do that, but it will create a new dependency on a different font. And so, in effect, what you'll end up with is a subset of a font in the document and a dependency on a font that's on your system. And it can create a little bit of a tangled up mess, which is one of the reasons that I'm not generally in favor of subsetting fonts in situations where I might ever need to touch up text. But beyond that, it can be a very, very useful tool, and I do tend to use it frequently.